So what is the best way to collect reviews for your Shopify store? It is proven that Shopify stores that showcase reviews from real customers and not only just written testimonial reviews, but also photo reviews and video reviews increases conversion rates drastically. Not only am I gonna show you how you can start collecting video, photo, and written reviews, but I'm also gonna show you how you can do this in a way where you're able to upsell your customers and also build brand loyalty along the way. So let's get into it. Welcome back, my name is Hannah Gardner. If you're new to the channel, I talk about building brands mainly on Etsy and Shopify, but a lot of other entrepreneurship stuff as well. So if you're, so if that is what you're into, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I'm putting out videos regularly. Let's just hop into my computer right now. In order to collect reviews for my Shopify store, you do need to use an external app. And the app that I use personally is called Luke's. I've been using Luke's now since the beginning, probably about three or four years now. And since I first started with Luke's, they have added so many features and actually a lot of features that are even better than some of the apps that I had to use to use that didn't offer when Luke's didn't offer that feature. They are probably one of the top rated review softwares when it comes to the Shopify app stores and it's super, super easy and intuitive to use, like super, super easy. Highly, highly recommend you check them out. Their link is gonna be in my description. But once you download Luke's, this is the inside of your dashboard. This is what it looks like. And essentially you can come down here, you can see some statistics about the reviews that you've collected, 31 reviews collected, four review requests sent. And the main dashboard basically just shows you some analytics. This is obviously a new account, so we don't have much reviews going on. The first thing that you need to do to pretty much set this up, and it's so freaking intuitive, is you're just gonna come here and hit settings, and then you're just gonna go through each one of these right here, and basically set this up according to your needs, wants, fears, and goals for your business. So I just wanna show you some of these really, really cool features. First thing you need to do is obviously manage new reviews. Basically what this is asking is you have a choice of like what reviews you wanna publish. So say I only wanna publish, like have reviews show up on the front end of my website if they're only four stars and up or three stars and up, you can choose that here. You can review request timing. So you're sending the email a review request email. That's how you're actually going ahead and gonna collect that review. So it's sending the email 14 days after fulfillment, but you also have option for delivery and purchase. Now, this is where the upselling comes in, which is really, really cool here. You can say, offer a discount to customers who leave a review that includes a photo or a video. So this is really, really cool. So they, you know, you ask for a review, but if they leave a photo or a video, we're gonna give you XYZ reward. So if you do this, then I'll give you that. So really, really cool that they do this. Um, and also that helps with building that brand loyalty because obviously getting one purchase from a customer is great, but the real goal is to build raving fans. So not only are you getting them to take more micro commitments to your business by leaving a review, but then if you can also get a purchase in that whole interaction as well, then that just creates even more brand loyalty, which is super, super beneficial. So what do we have here? We have 15% off. Offer discount for reviews from on-site and review requests or review requests only. So on-site, meaning they can actually just leave the review publicly on my website. So that's something that I can set up on my website where they can click a form on the front end of my website and just leave a review and get a discount as well. So I like that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna leave both there. Code auto-generate a unique non-reusable code for each review. So that's really, really cool. So when they go ahead and send the email to your customer on your behalf, it's gonna make a custom discount code that you don't have to set up. It's gonna do it on their behalf and then they can't reuse that same code. So sometimes when you share discount codes on Shopify, because you're manually making one discount code, unless you go back and turn that discount code off, people can kind of abuse it and use it over and over again. You can put an expir expiration date on that discount code. Video reviews, obviously I say yes. If you want to collect video reviews, enable that. And then emails. So what do the emails look like? Let's see here. So this is what the review request 
would look like here. We can add a banner, so add an email banner, so a picture. But here's a sample of what the review request looks like after this is the one they get 14 days post fulfillment. So we would be grateful and all this copywriting and stuff, this is already like, like loops provides this for you. You don't, I didn't write any of this. This is just their templates. But obviously the point of this right here is like, if you wanted to come in here and customize this, then you could customize it further for your specific use case. Now they even have a review request reminder. They go ahead and set a, send a second one because a lot of times, as you know, people don't check their emails. Let's see what else we got here. Photo review reminder. We have a discount for photo review reminder. Really, really beneficial stuff. So this is actually a really cool new feature. Man, Luke's is just going more in depth. So a reply to a review. So you can actually go ahead and send your customer a notification when you reply to their review. So say they gave you a one-star review for something and you replied to the review publicly, they would then get notified that you acknowledge your mistake. If you mess up the order, or whatever it is that you're publicly going to fix the issue that they had, or even if it was a positive review and you know, it will notify them that you actually are reading your reviews and care about your reviews as a business. And the next thing here is customizing your review form. So you're actually customizing the, the copywriting that is on the form. But honestly, I just leave it as is. I really like the copywriting that Luke's provides for you. And the last thing here is custom questions. So you can add a multiple choice questions that can be useful for you and your visitors. Questions will appear in the order below. All added questions are optional and can be skipped by the customer. So particularly for what I use this for is survey questions. So I survey my customers, do you like this over that? What would you like to see more of? I use it as a survey basically. So I can collect data on maybe new product launches, on what they like, what they don't like, what they're looking for. Maybe, you know, your customer's looking for a different price point, whatever it is. I use that custom, custom question section just to ask my customer, you know, more information about my customer, learn more about them. And if you see that your customers are saying the same thing over and over again, you know, those can be indicators or that data can be really useful for you for say new product features or different types of use cases for your products or new product ideas. I really, really would say don't overlook some sections like that and, you know, try to survey your customers as much and as you can to collect useful data. Obviously, if it is useful, don't put questions there unless it's actually going to be helping your business some way because you do want to keep the form as simple as possible, but it does say that they have the option to skip that. Well, once we do that on the collect reviews tab, we're going to go to display reviews. So how do we actually want to display the reviews on our website? So in this example, if I go to the website, I will I'm building off of here, I'm showcasing my reviews in a couple of different ways. The first way, on the product listings. Second way is I actually have a reviews tab. So I have a reviews tab completely dedicated to just showcasing all my photo and my video reviews. I have my a reviews section on my Who Are We page where I'm showing the reviews here. And then I also, if I go to an incognito window, it's not showing up here on my other browser, but if I come to an incognito window here, you'll see that I have a little pop-up going in the left-hand corner, up right here, where I have a little pop-up saying, showcasing a review in that corner section there. So this is how I have the review set up for this website. But as you'll see inside of your Luke's dashboard, there is a lot of different ways that you can go ahead and display reviews. So the reviews widget, you can customize that, customize it how you want to, sh how you want the widget to show up. So that's something that will show up in a section in your website. There's a Luke's pop-up. So that's the little pop-up that I showed you on the website. And it's really, really intuitive. You just come and pick the ones that you want to show and edit the details of, of their certain customizations that you want. A happy customer floating widget. So that's super cool. But this is just setting up the settings from the back end. But the really cool thing is because my with my theme, Luke's integrates with my theme really, really well, which by the way, Luke's integrates with most themes really well. When I go to customize it in my theme 
This theme, by the way, is Symmetry by Clean Canvas, and I highly recommend them as well. If I come down here and I add a section, you'll see Luke's, all those Luke's display type widgets and sections that they offer all show up here. So if I wanted to add a Luke's card like that, that that's what they're calling the Luke's card. Also have a Luke's carousel gallery. So it looks a little bit different. And by the way, all of these, this can also be further customized on the right hand side. So you add the section on the left and then customize on the right. We can do carousel testimonial. Oh, that's cool. So this is just a straight testimonial. Very cool. This doesn't show any pictures or anything, but guys, as much as you can, wherever you can, where it makes sense, you want to be showing social proof. So even though, you know, this copywriting may be included in, in this up here, you know, if it makes sense, if I can put this in a different part of the website, I'm going to do it. Obviously you don't want just your whole website to be your reviews, but where it seems appropriate, make sure you fill in as much reviews as possible. Let's see, we got a carousel widget. Cool, so this is just another different style. Ooh, I actually kind of like that better. Let's go back here and go back to my app and continue looking at the setup here. So when I go back to the settings, we just looked at how all these reviews can get displayed. So there's a lot of other things that you can do with this. They're now offering a referral program. So like I said before, like sometimes you need other apps just to have referral programs and upsell your customers. And Luke's is literally doing this all in one platform. So I think that's super cool. It looks like they're having a new upsell beta come out here, um, which this is really, really cool. We have the integration. So one thing that I cannot vouch for enough is that Luke's integrates with Google. So if you intend on running Google shopping ads, which if you're doing e-commerce selling physical products, Google shopping ads are the best way to run Google ads. Google shopping ads first, then Google search campaigns. And what Luke's does, it integrates with Google. So when you start running Google shopping ads, your reviews will actually show up. So when you come to Google here, if I type in pillow and you see how these people show up first, obviously people are gonna be more prone to click on the ones with ads here. These are, those first few positions are ads, so you definitely want to get your ads pushed to Google as well. It looks like they're now integrating with a lot of other stuff. OmniSend actually is what I use for my email where I host all my emails, so that's really cool that they're integrating with OmniSend. Here in the branding tab, you can just go into further customization with adding your logo, your color, your fonts, your email appearance. You have options here to even customize those templates. So really, really cool stuff, guys. Really in depth, like they've literally overcome every need, want, fear, and gold some e-commerce merchant would have about collecting reviews. Here in the orders, it's auto-populating all of the orders that you've gotten in the orders that are in queue to basically get emails sent to them. Here's the actual reviews where you can actually read your reviews. You can hide them, you can approve them, you can delete them, you can add it to the homepage carousel or one of those sections that I showed you before. Super, super customizable. Like I mentioned before, you can import your reviews and from like a template. There's a lot of different ways that you can import the reviews from supported apps. Pretty much one of the easiest softwares that I use. As e-commerce store owners, we're touching software all day long. And as you know, the easier the software and the better customer service, that just makes our life so easy. So I cannot thank Luke's enough. I hope you guys got a bunch of value out of this video. Make sure you comment any questions that you have below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.